to that matchup if you didn't know okay. from Min-Min. Just spam but, it out? Uh, yeah, it's really good. It's really good against Pac-Man, but not on screen anymore. We have got Carflow and Mr. Oh, no, uh, Stevenator. Uh, thank you, Stevenator. I don't know people by their in-game tags. Yeah, me neither. I just, just saw the match. Tags. It would have been Mr. Pip otherwise. Anyway, Carflow playing Cloud, they've been talking for a long time how they wanted to drop Roy. Yeah, and he, just he really has. Cloud. I don't know. I don't I don't know <laughs> either, Swiss, but you know what? I don't question what works and Carflow, you know, with his Zeno back to back, week off, back to back, week off, back to back streak that he's had going for the last couple months or so, but with clearly Roy. knows what works. Well but he's had a couple now with Cloud. He, okay, fair. That being said, did lose on Monday to Fawn's Kazia in Grand over at Bombs, but yeah. Now he has to contend with a different top tier, that being Sonic the Hedgehog, although the first stock he made short work of immediately extending that limit outwards and finding the extent ended pressure, but getting a little too over aggressive, something easy to do against Sonic, you know. Right? He plays so fast, he makes you want to play fast, and right now, I mean, Carflo managing to hold on, but that could have been a scary situation. Now, Sonic's the kind of that character that has uh, two modes. They can go really fast, or they can slow it down to a crawl. By going very fast. By going very fast. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, they go fast, but they go fast real slow. Anyway, stock number two. What are we going to see Carflo's ad adaptation here? I was going to say, well, the f first question was, can Stevenator even find his way out past ledge, which he can. The climb hazard, they're going to push him right back where he started. And, and Carflow very clearly still getting the finer detailings of Cloud Ledge Trapping down, pulling on some non-traditional options, and to mix success here, here Steven Eater having an opportunity to push the advantage, say even this one back up, but when you take an inch from Carflow, you better take the mile or he's gonna take one right back, and the quick reset the neutral into the oh, cross wow. line, and just like that at Swiss, he couldn't take the mile and I, you Carflo, know, I was, I was Carflo starting to say, I was like, like Carflo just needs to like, Stop throwing out moves, stop attacking shield, but you know what? That just finally worked. Poking on through. And then the, 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 like, the amount of clouds aerials that poke, that shield poke, and like buttons that shield poke is just absolutely absurd. It's a big sword, it better poke through. You're right, it's a very <laughs> big sword. I have a big sword that can poke. Whack. Just like that four tilt, so whack. Really nice patience there, the stall with the side B. Ooh, no. This is, this is possible death. Oh. And going to do so off the spring. Beautiful use of that active hurt hitbox there. there. Now though, Stevenator once again caught between a cloud and a hard place trying to get out of dodge. Gonna find the spin dash, but drops the further advantage state. And Swiss, you can't keep forcing Cloud to play neutral. Well, Sonic has a great neutral game. But Cloud might just have the best one in Ultimate, and so if you just if you can't convert on your advantage states, you're in for a rough day. Yeah, they're gonna have to start spacing out Cloud, and with this limit break already online, easy death. It just covers everything. And I, th that limit was online oh, just long enough for us to be like, hey, hey. it's online. And then Carflow was like, yeah, limit's online, but you know what's not online? Is it me My or opponent. does it? Is it is it me or does he look like? Um, what's the, what's the dude's name? Yoshi One of the best Sonic? in the world. Not Yoshi Sonic. I feel he <laughs> was looking. He was, yeah, he looks like Leo with the little mask on. I, you know, I think it's just the haircut. I think it's the haircuts, but it, it's a it's good totally look. It's totally the haircut, and that he's wearing any Three, pair of glasses. But one, we are go. not gonna have Leo on our screen. It's gonna be Stevenator Carflow here in winner semis, set on battlefield for game number two, and. This triplat layout giving Sonic a little bit more room to play defensively, run away, but also gives Cloud such an easy time to shark your aerials and juggle you. One of the characters' strong suits. What adjustments can we see Stevenator make here? I think Stevenator's trying to go for maybe some more edge guards off stage. Kind of need to, especially when Cloud can just dominate neutral. Okay, we're starting to see something happen here. Oh, we're seeing some good combos off those platforms. I love that that partial air to try and find a combo, but gonna land the wrong hit, having to reset instead. And now it's Cloud with Limit, one of the few characters in the game that can actually keep up with Sonic's speed. And once again, the Blade Beam off the ledge, just like that Swiss. That first stock is gone. Yeah, Stevenator needs to start baiting out those uh, Limit attacks a little more. Maybe being like, hey, just kind of uh, walk away. Like, try and like throw out that maybe just the uh, like the multi-hit Sonic Blade, but 
you know, once you're on stage and once you're grabbing that ledge, it's gonna come out and you gotta be ready for it. Um, and speaking of ready for it, you gotta be ready for the Sonic Edgar game. But Stevenator overextending, getting himself in just a little bit out of position and having to find that hit back to stage, leading to this reversal. Carflow that time not gonna catch you with that limit blade beam and instead just gonna find the cross slash, but without limit, not gonna kill. Pushing you back towards stage, you have the reset. Sonic able to do so at the speed of sound, my friend, and the back air to boot, closing it out. Stevenator has made the adjustments. The question is whether he can continue to keep it close. Yeah, Stevenator needs to keep baiting and switching between attack and just leaving. And they're going in really hard and getting punished right there. The cross slash just does so much damage, puts him in such a good position, finally making it back. Okay. I that raw down tilt poke, very non-traditional, but working out so far as the advantage state comes in, but having to reset, doesn't find the drift he's looking for, and Arflow almost able to close it out, gonna do so off that, that up there. we were talking about earlier, Swiss. I was looking like Smash 4 right there. Oh no. See? Avoid that. Jumping away. The Phantom Footstool against Steven Ader. Alright. Carflow is in such a perfect position. He's Doesn't doing, need a press advantage. He's doing such a good job, too, utilizing these cross, standing cross slashes, just dashing back, hit, you know, turn around being cross slashing to catch Sonic's approaches. It's so strong. Yeah, and Carflow. All right, Carflow just very happy to just do some up tilts. What can Stevenator do here? What are they thinking? I think he has to stop playing to Carflow's pace of play, right? He's playing this very aggressive Sonic, which. You know, it's exciting, right? We all love watching aggressive Sonic games. Yeah. But I, I like watching Sonic careen off the down. side of the stage. I think he needs to slow down that pace of play and start to get Carflow uncomfortable. We haven't seen a single spin dash cancel. We've just seen those jump away resets like there, and Carflow keeps punishing him for them. And taking a breath and slowing it down, I think, is the key if he wants to succeed. But first off, he needs to take the stocks with us. Yes. And Carflow's just very happy to keep the threat of that cross slash. Beautiful. And what threat? What threat? I mean, it's I don't, always I don't there. think it's a threat. I think it's a reality. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the threat of reality hits you hard when it's coming at mock speed. Wow. Right, but you see here, if we just slow this down, we didn't see a lot of edge guarding here from Carpool instead of setting up these traps. Yeah, and I mean, right, why go off stage when your character is as exploitable as Cloud, right? Sonic, one of the best in the game at edge guarding. Because of situations like that, I'd love to... Well, I would have loved to jump back and talk about that one, but it's gone now. Just say it, just say yeah, it. The, the spring here, watch the... Watch, just watch out with his coverage. He throws the back air to, ba to bait the early recovery. And then the spring. But because... Oh, dear. We're still, okay. we're still learning. Uh... Because, watch this, the spring forces out the early recovery, but er immediately makes contact, putting you in hit lag. Right. right? I, so he's in the extra stun lasts longer, and then the special default the boot, giving the maximum amount of time for Stevenator to line up that back air, nowhere left to run. Beautiful, beautiful little trap from him, even though it did not work out yeah. for the set in the end. I'm wishing we had more of those uh, traps set up. I mean, mm -hmm. Sonic is one of those characters that can harass you off stage so well. Yeah, dude, and one Cloud, of the best Cloud is so, out there. you know, exploitable off stage. But he can, he can really get him off stage. <laughs> uh, Cloud is exploitable off stage like this, right? Big exploitable. Air <laughs> yeah, it's like it's like. Yeah, he's exploitable, but his ledge snap is also one of the best in the yeah, game. Unless he misses it. 